What happens in this reaction? So we have our, it's still Mar... Kovnikov's Kovnikov rule. rule. Good. So, but this time instead of like the OH or like the alcohol in this case, it'd be the halogen, the BR. Roman. Good. Um, would go to the most substituted carbon. Okay. And then the hydrogen, just the same, would go to the least. Beautiful. So we're still following Mar Kovnikov's rule, exactly what you said. Now let's do the mechanism. So okay. what's going to start? Um, we'll have the hydrogen bond will break off from the bromine. Is that right? It will eventually, yes, but, not the but that's not, not the first thing. Nucleophile to electrophile. Oh, okay. That's what so I like instantly want you to think of. Nucleophile. So I'll have my... What's your nucleophile? My bromine. So this is our reactant, Oh, right? my, yes. Keep going with your thought. Okay, this is where I get confused. So this arrow will go my nucleophile because it's the double bond. Good. The double bond. So well, we then... place the tail... On the double bond, mm -hmm. since that is our nucleophile. Really, yes. And then I'm going to just change this right away so we do have the bond in the center. Because it would be wrong if you just showed that, oh, it's just going to take that hydrogen and mm -hmm. nothing else happens. We have to show that bond in between. Okay, okay. But it would be given as this as a question where it's just HBr, and oh, you, so have to draw you have to draw it. it. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have to draw it, showing that bond in the middle. Mm -hmm. And then I know, okay, well, this is just going to take that hydrogen. Mm -hmm. So we're doing protonation again. But yeah. really, again, it was the nucleophile. Our electrophile here mm -hmm. is that hydrogen. Okay. Because that's the only one that has the positive charge. Right. I don't want this to trip you up where it's like, oh, well, I know that nucleophiles are halogens. Yeah. Right? But this this was not the case. Uh -huh. our, I want you to immediately look at, like, this is our reactant. Okay. It has to react with something. That's true. Okay. Right? So, and then you're kind of just saying... What is this? Is this a nucleophile or is it an electrophile? And classify okay. It. okay, exactly. Classify it. Then from there, move on to what this is, and then that's going to tell you how this is going to attack, like where the tail and the head of the mm -hmm. arrow is going to be. I see you. Okay. So okay, great. Now that we have that, you're you're completely right. With this is now going to move here, mm -hmm. but this had to. This has to first. It had to have started first. Oh, had to, okay. this this can't just magically like decide I'm going to break the bond. Yeah. No. It has you know, to first be, like, taken away? or like, Yes, okay. exactly. So an atom has to be removed, really, okay. from there, and then this is going to go go there. So let's and show it this do. way. I see you. It goes on to that bromine, mm -hmm. and then we can keep building. And these ones, we do the arrows at the Why Why is it different that we do the arrows at the same time for this one? Like... Can I draw that the bromine is going, or do I do that in two different steps again? So in this case, the reason why there are two arrows, right? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Because if you were to just say, oh, this is just taking that hydrogen, what happens to this bond? Oh, I see what you're saying. So, so you have to account for it. It has to account okay. for it, yes. You have to account for everything that's happening within within that one step. Oh, okay, okay. Because this sense. is still classified as one step. The same step. Okay. Yes, the same step. That makes sense. Double check everything, and I do want to at least place that same sort of idea here. We did protonation, which is nucleophile attacking that proton, really. Mm -hmm. It's taking that proton, and you showed that it's going in the less substituted carbon. Mm -hmm. And we're only looking at these two carbons. Mm -hmm. Carbocation is on the more substituted position or more substituted carbon. Mm -hmm. Good so far. And then I'm now going to also account for this bromine that's leaving. Mm -hmm. So... In that case, I know bromine is still hanging out here. Yeah. It's now negatively charged. Mm -hmm. There are lone pairs. There's one, two, three, and four lone pairs mm -hmm. on it. So we do have an anion. Yes. Okay. What do we think will happen next? Then we have to have the same thing, right? The nucleophile Good. go to the electrophile. Beautiful. And then in this case, what I want to draw in my lone pairs, or if I point it at the negative charge to the... I would draw the lone pairs. Draw them in. Okay. Yeah, I, I would. So I'll place those there, just showing that they are there. And you would show it from the arrow. So uh, I'm going to stop for one second, mm -hmm. because this type of reaction, it follows Markovnikov's rule, check. Are rearrangements possible? In Markovnikov's rule? Do you remember what rearrangements are? Yes, isn't it? But it has to have a carbocation for a rearrangement to occur. We have a carbocation? Yes. So is there a way? 
Is that right? It is part of it, yes. It has to even form a carbocation for it to have the possibility of doing a rearrangement. Mm -hmm. The previous question that we did, rearrangements are possible. This one is also one that it is possible. Okay. This goes oh, back to the, the clues, the mm -hmm. rules, everything that we said in the community video. Yes. In this case, there's a major clue here. So it's something to do with this and then how yep. many... So this is like the most stable um, or like the carbon with the most substituent, most substituted carbon that's next to four Good. Keep going bonds. with your thought. You're right. You're right. right. Four bonds. Yeah. I can't remember what rule it was. Is that like something shift? But I can't remember. We methyl. Wanted. Methyl. Ah, I was going to say methyl. Oh. It's a methyl. Okay. So it would be a hydride shift if it was just tertiary. Okay. So just three. Hydride, tertiary, okay. Well, this one has four, so quaternary, mm -hmm. quaternary carbon. And this is the main thing, is you could e you could have even have spotted this from the very start. Oh, because yeah, the clue is when a double bond is literally right next to that quaternary uh -huh. carbon. That's it. Oh, that's true. Okay, that makes sense. So and just then, like getting used to like spotting them. Yes. Okay. That makes and it sense. and it's also knowing the tricks. So that's why this is difficulty level two rearrangements you need to know. are gonna happen here. Mm. So and the last one, it we didn't need it. Right. Because that carbon was and actually that double bond. Let me. So going back to this previous one, the mm -hmm. double bond was here, and then we had that quaternary carbon mm -hmm. there. Yes. But look, there's a carbon separating it. That's why this would oh, not have rearrangements. Mm -hmm. However, if that was right next to it, oh. so the double bond is here, then the carbon over is that quaternary oh, right methyl shift would have happened. Okay, I see. But not in this case. However, we do have that in here. Okay. And where that's going to happen is when we formed that carbocation. Okay, okay. So now what's what we're going to do is we're going to move this entire methyl Mm -hmm. to where that carbocation is. The purpose for it is to be able to form an even more stable carbocation. Yeah. When we do that rearrangement, now we formed a tertiary carbocation mm -hmm. versus the secondary that we had initially. Right. So I am going to at least show that step. With arrows? With arrows, absolutely. Okay, I see. You would have to show that. From here on out, arrows. Arrows forever. Everything is arrows. Okay, so now we said we're doing that methyl shift. Mm -hmm. So I'm not gonna bother with this guy right now. I'll bring him back later. Mm -hmm. Methyl shift is what we're doing, rearrangement. So again, I'm just moving, and I'm, I'm gonna show it by arrows. That's why I'm not doing each one and then yeah. having it be, this is really what it's gonna actually look like on your paper when right, you're writing this out. exam or something, more homework, okay. So that moves, now we're gonna build this again. And then I'm gonna move this one up here so that'll be up there. Methyl. This is the methyl we moved. Mm -hmm. Now the carbocation is on the other portion. Charge. Yep. Okay. And now we have a more stable carbocation. Okay, I see you. Yeah. So then next step is now bringing this. back this guy. Okay. So now we'll do. Bring him. Because it's just kind of like out right now, loading. So we'll draw the arrow from the, the lone pair to this one right here. Why that one? Because that one was the one involved with the double bond. We oh, did a and rearrangement. It's... Oh, so now it has to go to the carbocat. Oh. And this all and this is oh, okay. all based on the principles of nucleophile to electrophile. Oh. That's always gonna save you. Nucleophile okay. to electrophile. What's our nucleophile? This is our nucleophile. Good. And this is gonna go to our electrophile. Yes. Okay, I see and you. So and I, and this is the whole thing. Nucleophile to electrophile. Nucleophile. This okay. in this portion here, we did an arrangement. Mm -hmm. So that's why I can't necessarily say that's nucleophile to electrophile mm -hmm. because methyl shift. That's, that's rearranging true. everything. Yeah. Now that we have a more stable carb carbocation, yes, we're now going from nucleophile, one of the lone pairs, mm -hmm. to the electrophile, the and mm -hmm. then that's gonna create that bond. Okay. With the bromine. Okay, so you're saying. So I'll have you mm -hmm. draw that out again. Good, and let's just double check. Mm -hmm. We had that there, that methyl that was still remaining. We added the bromine here, and then that methyl group on top that we rearranged, mm -hmm. and that hydrogen that's still there. And then with this step, after our methyl shift, 
That would have just been nucleophilic mm -hmm. attack. Oh, okay. And I'm just placing these here just so you know what's happening, yeah, right? Yeah. At all these little steps. And then it also should make sense why we're kind of moving and showing those arrows. It's really just saying we're accounting for wherever this went, you know, so that the next step you're not left with like, wait, what happened mm -hmm. to get there? Yeah, that's so true. So in this case, yes, okay, great. We moved that, we added here. Uh, this would have been totally wrong if mm -hmm. we placed it Up here, there. right? Mm. That would have not been the correct product. Again, it all went back to Denise. the clue, knowing that, hey, you can spot it immediately if you see there's a double bond next to quaternary carbon. Yeah. Okay. Methyl shift. So if you like this practice problem and want to try another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire study session, click right here.